This video features a high-end, limited edition collectible and is intended for adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. 2020 has been a pretty big year for Barbie with the Playline success of their color reveal dolls, which Sang and I did purchase a few of and have used as photo props, as well as the reveal of their 2020 career of the year, the very timely presidential campaign team gift set. It's been a good hot minute since we reviewed any Barbies here on Toy Chat, but you may be seeing a bit more of the iconic gal on our channel since I chose this year to sign up for a Barbie Signature Club membership. This means I will have early and exclusive access to certain releases before they hit the market, among other perks. If you'd like details on how to become a Barbie Club member yourself, check out the links in the description below. One reason I decided to sign up is because 2020 is the final year of the Barbie fashion model collection, which generally features the adult collector-centric Silkstone body sculpt, sporting a very unique and striking look from Playline Barbies, more closely resembling vintage porcelain dolls. The Silkstone sculpt's most recent addition is nicely articulated, making these Barbies very poseable for photos and display. We have reviewed several Barbie signature dolls in the past, including another fashion model collection, Silkstone. If you'd like to check those out, I'll link our Barbie playlist below. In today's video, we'll be reviewing the best look doll and gift set from the Barbie fashion model collection, which will be the second to last release of this line. The final release has already been revealed to collectors and is called The Gala's Best. She is wearing an elegant ball gown and seems loosely Cinderella inspired. Although at the time of filming, she is currently sold out, we'll also be trying to purchase her to review for you guys once she restocks. We purchased the Best Look doll and gift set through Mattel's official Barbie website for $100. Like many Barbie signature dolls, she was made available early to Barbie Club members as an exclusive pre-release. Being a gift set, this Barbie comes with two complete outfits for daytime business wear and more elegant evening wear. She comes in a sleek, simple white box with a window display and pink backdrop we're used to seeing in Barbie's signature. You can remove the sleeve to take a closer look at Barbie herself. The back of the box displays artwork of both looks by iconic Barbie designer, Robert Bess. He is once again the designer of this Barbie signature release. We also see a photo of Robert Bess himself right above his signature and a brief blurb on the history and theme of the fashion model collection, as well as an overview of what to expect for this Barbie's two contrasting looks. It is noted at the bottom of the box that no more than 20,000 of this Barbie will be produced worldwide. Let's unbox her and take a closer look. Here we have the best look Barbie out of box. Sporting the vintage Silkstone face sculpt, she has piercing blue eyes lined in a graphic black cat eye. Her eyeshadow is a nude tan color smoked out just beneath her highly arched eyebrows. The vintage aesthetic continues into her lipstick, which is a vibrant blood red. This Barbie's deep red hair is shown in promos as being styled into a beautifully curled bob, but it's honestly a bit messier in person. The dolls we ordered in combination with photos we've seen online from other collectors, the final product hair of this doll can vary quite a bit box to box. Across the board, it seems a bit shorter and less stylish than the promos. Barbie comes dressed in her first look, a professional two-piece suit right out of box. The suit jacket is fitted and made up of a black fabric with tiny white polka dots. The jacket sleeves ends right below her elbows. The jacket has two faux pockets on the side where the fitted jacket fans out at the hip line. It also has a series of black pearl buttons along the front. The jacket opens up in the front with three button closures. The suit is decorated with a pearly brooch in a flower-like shape just above the chest. Barbie has a removable fur scarf or arm warmer. You pick. The inside of the fur piece is lined with fabric as well. 
Promo images give the impression the brooch is removable, showing that it's displayed on the top of the fur piece. This doesn't appear to be true, because there is threading visible inside the suit just behind the brooch and it looks like it's permanently sewed on. Barbie is wearing a matching pencil skirt. It is knee length and opens up in the back using the same button closures. She also comes with a pair of black mitten style gloves. As a word of caution, do not try posing this Barbie too much right after unboxing her. Her body is wrapped in plastic beneath the clothing and you may damage her if you do not remove the plastic wrap before repositioning. Barbie's secondary evening wear look starts off with a mostly sheer lacy black bodysuit. It has a layered, delicate look to it and appears quite lovely at first, but unfortunately, there was a big problem with mine. It appears as though the piece was sewn too small and the top button in the back would not fasten at all. If I pull any tighter, it would definitely tear the fabric. I spoke with a few other Barbie signature collectors on Instagram about the issue, and this is apparently a somewhat common problem on Barbie signature secondary outfits, possibly because many adult Barbie collectors never remove these dolls from the box. I will definitely be contacting Mattel customer support about this problem because this is not something I'm willing to settle for on a $100 doll. Thankfully, I've worked with Mattel before on product issues and they are generally very responsive and helpful, so hopefully this can get taken care of later. As a quick note, Sang also purchased this same doll and he did not have this same problem, although his was iffy as well with some uneven seamstressing in the front. To complete the evening wear look, there are two additional pieces a matching black tulle petticoat trimmed with satin and a sheer lace skirt beneath it. I definitely do suggest putting these two on at the same time. Just slide them both over her legs and then you can get a nice lovely appearance of layers once they're on. She comes with a tiered faux pearl necklace as well, which seems extremely difficult to fasten without the use of string. The necklace is as form fitting as a choker and has an obnoxiously tight hook loop on its own. We definitely suggest adding string if you want to save yourself a ton of frustration. I just hooked it together using a glue dot for this filming, to be honest. This look also comes complete with white mitten style elbow length gloves that appear to be made of an extremely delicate material just some gentle jostling poked a small hole in one of mine. Be very cautious applying these. On our legs are a pair of sheer black pantyhose stockings. They pair nicely with both looks, although because of the bodysuit on Max's doll was too tight, he had to put the pantyhose over the bodysuit. Barbie comes with two pairs of shoes, both black pumps. The shoes are identical aside from the crisscross straps across one pair of shoes. Barbie also comes with a black satin clutch that can be opened. There is a cream color shoe box as well, with the Barbie Fashion Model Collection logo written in the front. The box itself is empty, but you can store her accessories inside. Like most Barbie signature dolls, this release comes with a plastic stand that allows you to display the doll, propping her up at the crotch. Unfortunately, the stand is a bit too tall for Barbie, and her feet hover a bit over the base depending on how you position her. Lastly, the box also includes a certificate of authenticity, as well as a very brief instruction sheet on how to clean the silkstone body. All right, so here are our final thoughts on the best look Barbie doll and gift set. I'm fairly new to the Barbie fashion model collection, having only purchased two in total so far, but I do have to say it's a bummer that this is the collection's final year. It seems to be one of the only remaining Barbie lines that truly caters to adult collectors in terms of intricate layered fashions, articulation, and sophisticated screenings. My hope is that this isn't the last we see of Silkstone, and if it is, that something similarly adult-focused is ushered in to replace it. Barbie is obviously a hugely iconic brand with loads of appeal to collectors of all ages. That being said, the best look Barbie has some significant pros and cons. 
Her outfits are both lovely in design, and I appreciate the 50s leaning aesthetic we get here without anything feeling overly tacky or dated. There's also plenty of versatility, given that we can share these clothes with Integrity Toys and a handful of other dolls. However, I'm really disheartened by the amount of problems I came across after this unboxing. I love the silkstone posability and sculpt, and they also have nice weight to them. Um, they're just, they're really nice dolls, physically speaking. But this one's hair is kind of a big disappointment given the promises of the promos. The necklace is obnoxious and confusing to apply. The brooch was misleading in the promos as well. The gloves seem poor quality, and I'm definitely frustrated that it seems like I'll have to trade in one of the outfits on top of all these other issues. Although, as I said, if the button fastened fine on a replacement, I'd be pretty much content with that piece. The past few $100 price point Barbies I've come across have been a tough sell, in my opinion. You know, this one at face value seems like a better deal than some of the previous $100 Barbies that only offer a single outfit. I really think Barbie Barbie in general needs to reassess the prices they're asking for these deluxe releases in relation to the quality and quality control people are actually getting in the end result. Still, you know, I came to really love my previous fashion model collection doll, Proudly Pink. So, you know, the fashion model collection will be missed by many, I'm sure, and I do still really hope Barbie continues offering some level of dedication to the adult market. I've always admired Silkstone and the Barbie fashion model collection and what it brought to the adult doll collector market. Looking back, they had gorgeous fashion and the Silkstones themselves had beautiful screening and makeup. The Silkstones were built sturdy and I am a fan of the articulated Silkstones. Like Max, I am sad to see that they are being discontinued. I think there's a gap that is left by Silkstone that I hope Mattel quickly fills up. The best look doll and gift set is a lovely product. I think it's the best of the final three Silkstone products released this year. Though I'm happy with the design and idea of the best look, I wish the level of care taken into designing it was translated into the final product. From Max's bodysuit not fitting his doll and mine being poorly sewn and ripped, it left a sour taste in my mouth. I don't think we should be expecting much from a $100 product that comes with so much stuff, but what we end up getting was disappointing. While I reviewed this product as a mainly Integrity Toys collector, I do take in consideration that I cannot judge a $100 Barbie product to IT's much higher cost products. But I think I would be willing to pay more for something that has clothing that actually fit and are not defective straight out of the box. Speaking of clothes fitting, a lot of the more recent Silkstone clothing will fit some of IT's dolls. Majority of Silkstone fashion will fit Poppy Parker perfectly. Just keep in mind that the modern Poppy Parker body can be taken apart so you might have to remove some of her limbs or bust to fit the Silkstone clothing on Poppy. But each item I tried did fit Poppy. The Silkstone clothing might not fit other IT lines, but it is dependent on the item of clothing, so some trial and error is needed. Overall, I do not regret my purchase. I'm just unhappy with the level of quality control. I wish Silkstone ended with a bang rather than a hastily put together product. But in the end, I am glad to have a piece of the Silkstone legacy in my collection. All right, so thank you for joining us for our review of Barbie Signature, the best look doll and gift set. Definitely let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I know there was kind of a lot to talk about with this one, and I'm sure there's a whirlwind of opinions out there on the subject of quality control and pricing. I know on average, there are quite a few consumers who are maybe not as familiar with what manufacturing and quality control actually cost a company. So it's a pretty complex conversation in the big scheme of things, but let us know what you guys think about this release and the finale of Barbie Silkstone and the fashion model collection. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.